Yes, sir. We are back, y'all. We are back with another freaking video. Video. This time up, we got the legendary Hobson. I don't want it. So check this out, man. This is one that we have not reacted to. We have not reacted to any of Hobson stuff. Um, as y'all know, Hobson is an OG in the YouTube game. Hobson goes back for, I mean, he had to be on the the, some of early pioneers of people rapping on YouTube. So I think since 2009, I think right after the recession, that's when you start hearing about it. And I see he still rocked them cat eyes, some scare eyes. I'm surprised. Look a little spooky. I'm surprised Hobson doesn't have some kind of sponsorship from 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 Peerview or something from a, a, a contact vendor. But anyway. Let's get and see what he's talking about. You see on the video, he, he in that um he in that Lambo that he had just bought on that little ball on that vlog. So let's see what he's talking about. Nice. This will probably be the last song that I'll come out with for a while. Wait, last song, why? I'm sorry to all my fans. It's funny how he talked, he started with Robin Williams because I always think about him too. He really is in my mind, you know, quite often at random, I'll think about him because of exactly what he's saying for real. So that wow. look, so look how he come in. He's already talking about Robin Williams. So that means that's some, some, some depression. Yeah. Or some, some other stuff is going on. If you starting off talking about him. Let's see what he's saying. Said the Reaper is in the room visiting, so if you know why, if I leave, you'll know why. So, hmm, mm. so maybe he's got you know, he's he's talking about he's battling with some things. Mm. It started way back then when I was a kid at first. Niggas bullied me when they saw that I was an introvert. I was never cool, had no friends, no chicks would flirt. Every school year, it's like all my issues were getting worse. My mm. whole life, they was calling me corny, stupid. So he grew up. He grew up without pops. Mom was always working. He was skate. He resorted to skateboarding. He to was bullied in school. Bullied. Probably, probably is what he's saying. Introvert. So they ain't talk to nobody. Yeah. How old? I wonder Girls how old he is. Didn't Kate. really flirt. He said. They got my man Hobson look uh, looking a little older on this, you know, on this um, picture. So he's talking about a lot of kids in school right now. You yeah. Know? Abs wow. Absolutely. I'm sure many can relate to what he's saying right now. Based on when he's saying that hook and how he's coming in, he said he tired. Of, I guess he tired of this. He's been doing it on YouTube. He, he must be burned out going through something, or he burned out of doing this on YouTube. Hmm. For revenge, you know, it's like pretty much how payback, you know, 
y'all treated me like crap, but now, but now look at me. Mm. Yeah, and yeah. if he doesn't give, you know, he seems like he's the bad guy. That's yeah. a shame that people, when they get money, you know, based off of their own earned hard work, if they don't want to help out somebody who's asking them for money, they're looked at as the bad person. Yeah. How are you going to tell somebody how to spend their money? Now help those that helped you most definitely. Mm -hmm. I believe in that. People that were there along the way, they imparted in you, in you while you were on the struggle, on the journey. Yeah, Sh shoot them something, help them out, whatever. But people who just come in with a handout and you really don't want to, don't help them out. Who cares? What I always think, think about what, what them. Drake said. He said, you weren't with me when I was shooting in the gym. I always think about that. You want that in your handout, but you weren't there. You weren't there for when I was doing all the hard work. Mm -mm. I had about a million new best friends that I just met. Mm -hmm. Some were plotting to build me a deathbed, all because they kept on putting wax songs out that no one's impressed with. So why the jealousy they diss me? You fucking guessed it. At least I had my squad, Jerry, Dizzy, Hopper, Swizz. I knew we stick together, stuck in this chaotic biz. Mm -hmm. We had it all figured out. They had a lot to give. It was fun partying for life. Who want a problem, bitch? Then all of a sudden. Out of nowhere, we parted ways. 2016, those are some of my darkest days. Mm. Ask us all, whose fault was it? Ain't hard to say, but it was due to money and all of our bonds that start to fade. Months later, my girl told me she's pregnant. This was something I never expected. Her and I weren't on good terms at the time. Man, it was hectic. And I was scared if she kept this baby, I might regret it. Mainly because her and I had a fucking toxic relationship. Last thing we need is a fucking toddler to raise it. Mm. Oh, man, I hear a so lot of pain. True. So true. Yeah, he said we got a toxic relationship. All we need now, all and all we don't need now is a child to raise in it. Yeah. You know, I agree because when your relationship is jacked up and you have a baby, it just it hurts the baby. Doesn't, yeah, it doesn't help. The it doesn't help the child at all. Development, but man, yeah, he's just telling his story. I'm, yeah. I'm interested to see what he's gonna say at the end. You right. know, pain, wow. pain. You know, behind the scenes, you don't know what people are going through with all the stuff they have, all the toys, all the, you know, the stuff they flash in front of their mm -hmm. face. And behind closed doors, many of them are experiencing exactly what he's talking about. Fake people in their face and still no fulfillment true on the inside because all you have is stuff and fake friends. I call wow, that, I call that's that heavy. smoke and mirrors. That's heavy. Yeah, don't be, don't be fooled by the smoke because there ain't nothing but a mirror behind it. That just... That's why you gotta have the truest of the true, the fewest of the few. People in your space that's really gonna be honest and real and you know they got your back and they're they're hard to come by. But when you got them, you know them and you hold on to them because they're like gold. That's why me and my baby ride like two flat tires in the back of a Cadillac, ain't that right? Yeah. <coughs> and I got on my last one day. <laughs> He just said, I got to go find myself. I hope oh, you understand. understand. So that's what he's saying, man. Pray for that man, man. He trying yeah. to see who he is. And he probably has not, in the 10 years that he's been out here on YouTube, hadn't 
taking a break or has taking a break down. and or don't know or don't know who he really is because he's always been probably going at a fast pace. You get what I'm saying? So he never really had a chance to slow down and and all the people he mentioned, he mentioned Robin Williams, and I thought that was really a, a, a true powerful statement because he is someone that also stands out to me a lot when it comes to, you know, celebrities, you know, and suicide. I think about him often because he was such, you know, a well-liked, you know, guy from what we knew of him and what, what we were able to know of his life. He seemed like he was a really, really nice, humble, you know, happy, cheery guy. And all the movies he was in, I loved. I can't say there was one movie I didn't like because I liked all of the movies that he was in, you know, and what was going on so much on the inside to make yeah. him do that. And it's like, I really hope that, you know, Hobson is able to find, you know, himself and, you know, get the peace that he needs right. to continue to press on to do whatever he's called to do in the world. Absolutely. And I always know, like I said in the past, smoke and mirrors because a lot of it is so. it is and people get the value of material stuff they think that that's going to make them so happy it mm -hmm. gives you better choices and it will allow you to go and experience some things that right. can add happiness to, to your you. life add happiness but at the end of the day in your big old house and in your nice car and all those stacks of money when you sit down you're going to still you know want to truly be loved and cared for by somebody nobody wants to be alone at all so that's it, man. All right. Oh, 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 also, what we got there? Oh, yeah, y'all. What's that? The Lucky Let's Jack. Let me do it a little bit closer. Boom, can y'all see that? Bye-bye. It's focused. There it is. Get lucky some of that Lucky Jack. Jack. Get some of that. Oh, y'all, it's really good. Yum, yum, yum. yum for that my black tummy. coffee. Yummy, yummy for my tummy. This is uh, what I, a lot of times I use when I'm working, writing. I need to stay up. All, doing all kinds of stuff what we do behind the scenes so this is a, a keeper mm -hmm. that's it man like comment and subscribe and turn on your post notifications so wah, every wah, time wah. that we do Beep. something you get it immediately man those are all the sounds the post notifications make <laughs> i don't want to know more i don't want to know more all right man we'll see you on the next one man gets better right yeah pray for Hobson. Say you want a husband chocolate cake, you wanna be married The big old mansion on the lake of Lambeau if I carry She say you wanna be the only one, no baby mama drama No could it, but it's side piece of a shit